after the fourth season through uh, uh, was married and he uh, and i had told him that like abhi agar koi puchta hai na i am going to say you're married whether you want to announce it or not for all film related interviews reviews and content please like and subscribe to pooja talwar you can also follow me on twitter and on instagram and a team little things little things actually became a very big thing so uh, i mean <coughs> now down with what was that like because you know i think it became a way of life for the two of you didn't it yeah it sort of did but it still feels like we're not done with it because so much of the show still rests within us right ha so uh, that closure bolo objectivity bolo wo bhi tak nahi also because Haan. people still talk about it in in present yeah in exactly so, so it still feels as if it's still somewhere here or there yeah and mitra you do realize aapne itna kuch kiya hai after little things but for everyone you just remain kavya curly head kavya yeah i i think it's amazing because she's still the she's a character closest to me and i feel like she is me i am her and if that's how people remember me as it's, it's great because dhruvan kavya also characters that are closest to my heart so anything any love for them is i take it personally <laughs> and you do know for the longest time both of you were shipped as real life characters you know because everyone gets so involved in the real avatars because they were like hoping and praying that this would be real but dhru had found his own kavya and i think our our kavya is looking for her dhru whoever it may be <laughs> but what, what was that life so, because i'm sure you got a lot of that like from people saying hi Yeah, yeah, we. Uh, we. By the way, we still do. Yeah, we still do. We still, <laughs> we still do. During the fourth season, I mean, not during, but after the fourth season, Dhruv uh, uh, was married, and he, I uh, and I had told him that like, abhi agar koi puchta hai na, I am going to say you're married, whether you want to announce it or not, because that is the reason now <laughs> that they should stop asking us, but they still do. It's great. <laughs> So Dhruv, there are a lot of things because you know they say when you're seeing somebody, but when you get married to them and are living with them, after they see their face day in and day out, things are very, very different. And couples also sometimes become like boring siblings anyway. You know, so this those aspects come into little things also. The so things like you know aspects with your wife, something that you would do, did that also come in? Yeah, you know, I just. I mean, the only thing that I wish for is that I get to experience a show like Little Things, so that I can be like, see, this is what happens with them, because I, we are so much a part of the show, right? That I don't have that closure, that I don't have that experience that so many people otherwise have. Uh, but yeah, it, no, it always messes up with my mind. Ke, uh, yeah, but show me that it's not so easy. Life is not like this, or life is like this. See, you have spoiled this for all of us, including yourself. <laughs> <laughs> bit of it's a bit it's a, yeah it's very muddled it's even funny for you the mark that means yeah you know and literally you know i was about to call you kavya because of kavya hi rehti hai bichari ne itna kuch kiya hai uske respond to everything now meera kavya you know, <laughs> you know but the thing is kabhi kabhi when you see characters like this you get so invested in their life that sometimes when you're sitting you wonder like what would they be doing 10 years from now that that also happened with you do you also to look at what would through uh, you know what would through and kavya be doing you know because you get so invested in a story and it becomes a part of your life actually it's it's the other way around you know because suddenly instagram pe reels bahut zyada chalne lag gaye so what people have started doing that they take dialogues from the show or music from the show and interpret it in their own way yeah so making their own version of say little things you know so that was it's kind of interesting that you're like you're baithe baithe and suddenly there's this nri couple in us who are meeting for the first time after two years of long distance and there are these dialogues so yeah it's it's almost like these people exist in their real entity now instead of us imagining ki ye kya kar rahe honge people are we are imagining how people related to them you know absolutely and Also, yeah. Nikhil, the beauty of this show was it made the simple, mundane things of life. I mean, कभी कभी you know you see these larger than life love stories. मैं तेरे लिए पागल हो जाऊँगा, मैं तेरे लिए अपनी ज़िंदगी दे दूँगा, मैं तुम्हारे बिना नहीं रह सकती. Nothing of that sort. It was just how regular people behave. 
So as you said, Kavya is very close to you. I mean, that, did that resonate with you when Dhruv came to you for the first time to play her? The ordinariness of life. It was basically celebrating the ordinariness. It did. Uh, it did because I feel like... Uh... I think the the sweet part of little things is that it it's a show that has come up very organically. It's not something that we were like, "Abhi ye show banayenge." It it has stemmed out of two sketches that Dhruv and I did, which felt so like, "Arey ye to hota hai," and uh, and I have always felt like, uh, in spite of being single through the years of shooting little things, it was still the most relatable thing in my life, and I I can't explain it. um so yeah so i feel like it's just the earnestness and honesty with which he writes and it's a lot. i i have always credited to him because he's just a very 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 sensitive writer so uh, so it was just very easy for me to jump into it i didn't have to do much i just voiced her that's it and a little things was on audible so what was that like from the end because you know actually when i heard it on audible it's actually an audio book because when i remember back in the day you used to hear radio and characters enacting out plays and you wanted to know their story it's actually a perfect audio series too what was that like for the two of you revisiting it now in the audio form when they met pehla what happened <laughs> what was that like i mean first of all i really agree with you it is one of the best shows that can probably be adapted to an audio form you know uh, and somehow the audio form makes it a little more intimate also you know mm-hmm. it feel more personal i mean imagine tum delhi gurgaon ja rahe ho 3 ghante traffic mein ho and you can actually just listen to two people falling in love you know it's yeah. it's so beautiful uh, i mean for us when we were doing this it it, it felt familiar obviously but you know we we saw the whole experience a little bit with a little bigger microscope you know mm-hmm. everything was a little more detail everything because suddenly you're paying attention to just the audioness of it you know and then usme yeah. life karna usme ek freshness dhoondni usme uh, you have to go back in time as in terms of your craft you can't act in the same way you know uh, so it actually felt like a form of time travel which would yeah, yeah which is what a other which is what a visual show would have also done but here it it felt a little more uh, you know it felt a little more intimate you know yeah, definitely what about you mithila what was it like just now being the voice of pavia and not actually acting around but expressing her emotions through your voice and i think that's far more challenging because you can it is and the video format you can fall back on your eyes your hands your body but here is absolutely out. absolutely you said everything that i wanted to say it is it is uh, a lot more challenging uh, forget eyes and like face i to talk a lot with my hands also like i to use all of these as crutches <laughs> in the visual medium which i have realized now uh, when i when i recorded uh, little things uh, for audible uh, so it was challenging also because uh, the first day was a little it was essentially used to adjust to how she will actually be sounding like in this for this show because uh, i was told she's sounding very grown up she's sounding very mature and having grown up with kavya of course i'm sounding different because i as mithila also sound very different from what i did in 2015 yeah so um, so yeah i had to kind of remember what what kavya sounded like in the first season and kind of deage myself <laughs> through my voice <laughs> it was quite challenging but it was fun True, and you know the thing is also as I said, it celebrated the ordinariness of life. Why did the two of them were struggling to live in together all along the since relationship? These happen every day with couples, but वो ही होता है ना cinema format में video format में जिस सीना love stories पहले वो सीटी मारे, talking होगी, फिर मिलेंगे, no joke and all that happens. What do you feel actually worked for little things which may not have got them? Which their love stories they are seeing, we still remember. DDLJ, the simplicity and all those love stories, but we have not had some great love stories standing out in celluloid. What do you think really works for this show that till date people are reenacting, reimagining, and it's back again in the audio? I think the honesty of the show, you know, that it may not be 
the most amazing to look at show you know hmm. it's a simple hmm. show set in a house two people with the daily negotiations but i feel it feels uh, it feels life like you know i mean that was always the attempt since the first day that it feels as if life is unfo- unfolding in front of your eyes and in a way which is honest and it is trying to it's trying to understand life you know it's not trying to understand love i think that's where uh, it kind of got differentiated that is just two people trying to experience life together yeah um, so yeah i mean uh, and 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 yeah and i think the tone of it helped you know it didn't take itself crazy seriously neither it did it take itself frivolously kahin na kahin tha matlab ke no let's respect the characters let's give them dignity let's not do things which are larger than life that may feel as if it's we are cheating you know on these characters so there was the sense of dignity that was given to the characters and i think all of that comes out in the craft comes out in the conversations that all the creators have and the audience just takes it in very subconsciously you know and they'll use phrases like hey are it just felt like it's my brother it just felt like it's my sister but it yeah. it felt like that because there was truth honesty dignity attached to it you know and that's how people tend to look at things that they love absolutely well what about you for you mithila what was that like also because as you said you relate to kavya but aise tha koi was there a love and it's rose colored tinted glasses kuch utra after being kavya for like uh, four years four five years man kuch utra that or it made it made you smarter when it comes to matters of the heart ki main asal zindagi mein ye nahi karungi no can i just say nothing makes you smarter i i feel like we end up making the same mistakes because we are as vulnerable uh as we always think um we just hope that we don't make the same mistakes as intensely as we made them before so that is the hope um but like dhruv i mean everything that dhruv said i would like to reiterate and i feel like it's the um on a in a in a larger sense of it it's such a universal story yeah it can be based anywhere and it's still a story about two people living together and that is all that we were telling so so yeah that's what makes it special and real and, and honest true and it also was a game changer in many ways in more ways than one because it made you realize that content was supreme i mean people wanted good content as group said that it was made the way it was you don't expect glossy sets in switzerland and the apps and all it was just a simple show set in mumbai simple but content do you think going ahead i mean some we are following falling back in the formula what do you think going ahead how is content now going to evolve because you did pioneer a movement of sorts i would say with the kind of content you gave us all. i mean i don't think we thought of it like that and i <laughs> yeah. but ho gaya but ho gaya but you know it always surprises me that i always thought there'd be more shows like little things you know and i'm not trying to brag here about the show but and i don't even mean ke uh, love story but you know the similar tonality and there are few there is there are definitely few but i thought that you know maybe it'll seep in in, a, in in base because little things in itself was not a new or a fresh thing you know in 90s our television was that in early 90s our doordarshan tele was television was exact yeah banegi apni baat and all those shows right you know and uh, i remember seeing those shows even when i was four five sitting with my mother because somehow that tonality of life being unfolded in front of you was so nice it was comforting sure. so i mean it's not new it's dated but yet it always works but going ahead which is what the conversation that i have with all my writers that actually maybe this is the this is the best time to be a writer because maybe the opportunities are not uh, crazy because of budgets and all but kahin na kahin the formula is, seems to not be working so maybe there's an op- there is a possibility for newer things being told you know absolutely and kahin na kahin maybe people are more open to taking risks and most importantly like you keep like you kept saying in the interview that people are excited by content they are not excited by presentation in a way you know and yeah. kind of thing that is so it is it is the it is the only thing that a writer wants to hear that just give me a good story that's Absolutely. you know so that was is very exciting also mithila as an actor tell me exciting times to be an actor because after career you did 
a few shows wo zara larger than life aspect hi ho gaya in like in situations which maybe a normal person would not imagine them to be is it any as if you've done both real and maybe you know not so real so is it an exciting time for you also as an actor and what are you actually now looking for Absolutely exciting time. I have been the advocate of the fact that this is the best time to be part of the entertainment industry because there is a varied uh, number of things uh, that are happening, and whether it is real or relatable or larger than life or something that you aspire, um, it's everything. There is something for everyone. That's why I feel like it, this is a very very exciting time. What I do want to now. what i do look forward to doing differently is to not play go next door or to play a role that is just like not expected of me at all <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> like something negative or something like full on uh, like a psychological thriller or something that would be very exciting ah uh, i mean the killer in an innocent like, <laughs> like bob you will be perfect but i can't imagine you playing the bad girl but yeah maybe yeah <laughs> Devil in sheep's clothing. Who's ever somebody needs to write that group? Maybe he can write that. <laughs> <laughs> so when it comes to relationship advice, which is the like an advice you feel that people should not give another, because there are a lot of people who are going through their tough times, and then you should a third person get involved in a couple's relationship, because then you end up taking sides. What would you, the two of you, advise? So, बहुत सारी होता है. To not give advice. Because no two relationships are the same, I would think. Absolutely. Or so, if you outcast, be ho jaate ho. If you are husband ki side lo ya wife ki side lo, or dono aap se bolte hai. Dhru, what would you say? I mean, the married man. What would you say? Because your baam se dada hai. Why? I mean, but this, see, this is an easy answer because I give this advice to everything. Okay, just listen. You know, just just listen. Maybe you are not listening. Just listen. Relationship red flag for the two of you that cancel हो जाता है. Oh. Uh, oh my God. I mean, it's not a red flag, but something which annoys me when people lie about small things. I can take when people lie about something big, because there is a logic to it. But when people just lie about something very frivolous, no, I'm like, why? <laughs> why do you have to lie about this? Like, there is no need. Yeah. Then I find that there's some, 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 there's some, there's something which is fundamentally wrong in the friendship, in the relationship, in the, in the, whatever, in the working, in the professional environment when people just lie for no reason. Oh, totally. Nikhil, ah, tell. It's weird that he says that. He said that, but I was going to say dishonesty. Yeah. Big red flag in small or big forms. Just dishonesty. And if and if the real life Kavya and Dhruv, I mean, as Nikhil and Dhruv, which is the worst date that both of you have been to, which is the worst date, worst date, worst date that both of you have been to, yeah, had. Yara, hardly go on date. <laughs> This is my life being exposed here, Pooja, because of you. <laughs> oh, oh. Very exciting life, isn't it? क्या कर रही हो काव्या तुम अपनी ज़िंदगी के बारे में अब मज़े ब्रूव यू सिंस यू हैव ऑलरेडी रिटेन अ मॉडर्न लव स्टोरी यू हैव ऑलरेडी रिटेन दिस दिस इज़ अ मैन हू कम्स विद अ लॉर्ड ऑफ़ एक्सपीरियंस तो हमें बताओ आपका सबसे वर्स्ट डेट था मेरा वो वर्स्ट डेट नहीं था मैंने गलती की म so whatever three four years I made the mistake yeah. of booking a tick booking two movie tickets to uh, P for P V R Juhu uh, for a movie date with this girl that I was really excited to meet on the day of resurgence not knowing because I was new to Bombay that ये नहीं करना चाहिए था so that oh. date never happened and we never met so we only spoke and I always wonder man should have <laughs> checked Yeah. You know, this could be an exciting story. What would have happened? एक एक नया आप लिख सकते हो एक कहानी. अब हो गया. Romantic. He's done with romance. Mithila, what are you doing for romance now? 
my god why am i putting this bot i'm not thinking i'm not thinking i'm married to my work <laughs> anyway congratulations both of you and i'm thinking <laughs> because i prefer the audio media uh, medium much more to the visual because as you said it's very intimate and it's also very cozy and it's very so warm thank you so much but any possibility of being a little senior filter on उट <laughs> Uh, have been talking about is the Telugu film Mori Devuda that we have announced. We put out the teaser a few months ago, and hopefully you'll be able to watch the film very very soon. Awesome, looking forward. Thank you so much. All the very best. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. If you've liked this interview, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram.